So, this game. <laughs> Sub Zero. <laughs> So this is the fourth game in the Sly Cooper series. To me, it's the best. So that was already on. Yep, 3D, back in the day. Interesting. Didn't know you could do that. Definitely PS3, you can tell. Now that's interesting. That music sounds like Plants vs. Zombies. Interesting. I wonder if it's the same person. I'll have to look into that. You gotta click that, right? Yep. Okay. We can start the play. I just want to get, get recording of some of my favorite voice acting um, ever. Pretty sure, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I could have saved over the other one. Yes. Yes, I do want the full story. And we get the full voice acting here. Here we go. Trophies. I got the trophies. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper. And I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named... Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, and even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. <laughs> Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off, too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top-secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris.
The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather, infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. <laughs> Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. up aloud. Don't stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. So, that was me wanting to record that, wanted to see my reactions to it, um, see if I'm sitting up straight, I'm trying to make sure this thing fits what I need it to, there we go, so, anyway, um, let me go and save that, because I think I have two saves, yeah, so, so now one says four or five, so I'll delete the other one at some point. Um, but yeah, just wanted to get that opening sequence, get the voice acting, get the concepts. Uh, that's what I'm doing with all these games. I'm going to go with my favorite games and uh, just record little bits at the beginning and react to it and then see why I love it so much. So, there you go.